welcome back. In today's video is all about our shade windboard. Now, there's a few ways wind bars can be done, either just as a soft grey, a solid black like tribal, or how I prefer to do them from black into a soft grey gradient. That's the traditional way. They're actually harder than they look. So today I'm gonna talk you through my technique whilst also showing you through the video, my hand movements, my needle groupings, but before we jump into the video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe. And if you have any questions, just drop it in the comments below. For this piece, I'm using the Dynamic Grey Wash set including dynamic black i first start by putting in the lightest tone i'm working with a 17 curved mag and i'm just packing it in The machine I'm using is the Soul Mover Unlimited with a 3.5mm stroke. I'm running about 8.5 volts, give or take. As you can see, I'm paying close attention, just keeping it all smooth. I'm still working with the lightest tone. Once that's down, I switch to a darker tone and I start working it in and brushing it slightly over the lightest tone. Once the lightest tones are done, I move on to the medium tone and repeat the process, brushing it over the lightest tones to give that smooth gradient. As you can see, it's packed nice and solid and it's going smooth. It looks black, but it's not.
once I've done the grey I switch to black and I brush this over the grey to give it a smooth black to grey blend still packed in solid Not all the wind bars will have black in. This one is just a, a light to medium grey. But it's the same process. Light tone down first, then brushing over the top. Still with the 17 Magnum bulk pin. <laughs> 